Okay, so we got the 330 back. Um, the shop cost was going to be way too high for him to cover, so we decided to just bring it back here and uh, do the work ourselves. Um, kind of didn't want to do it because the street is at a decline and just kind of wanted to get it done uh, without having to, to do any any work, but since the cost is pretty extreme for his budget we decided to do it ourselves so what happened was the idle pulley this piece right here broke and loosened the belts and pulled out the accessory belt along with it and so while he was driving it came off and it overheated because um, the water pump wasn't pumping and also um, the shop found out when they did a quick check that the motor's okay. It's just that the radiator um, has a leak also. So we're going to go ahead and replace it and replace it with, with new hoses, new idle pulley, new tensioner. Um, I don't know how much that cost, the tensioner for the, uh, uh, for the AC compressor. I'm thinking maybe we should change that as well. Miles, do you, wanna, do you know what the cost is for that? Might as well do it while we're here. Uh, and so... Hopefully we can get the uh, this car running today, and he can get his car back. But he's gonna be doing most of the work, so it's gonna just kind of guide him. So he's already got most of it out of the way. Uh, we had to get special tools for to be able to remove the the fan. So luckily he ordered that, and we got that um, handy. Anyway, so hopefully we can get this thing going. Um, just a quick uh, update on on the 330 we're not going to cover step by step because it's already covered in youtube so we figured we'd just kind of document it just to kind of let you guys know what's going on with the 330. so just to show you what happened this is actually the pulley the center of the pulley the pulley just actually sheared off or came off i mean i don't know if you guys can see it but it's actually the 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 pulley just, um, it's hard to do this with one hand, the pulley just basically bat, uh, went forward, sits like that, and just went whoop, and it took the belt with it, and at the same time, took out the uh, accessory belt, so that's what did it. So we got the old idler uh, tension pulley, um, just two 13s. This is the new one. So we're gonna, uh, b before uh, you can get to this old one, you have to remove the, uh, the idle, actually this is the tensioner pulley and this is the idler pulley. You gotta remove this to get to this. So this is the old uh, accessory or AC tensioner. So what you gotta do to get this thing, uh, cause you can't access the bolts. So the, at least the top bolts, so what you, these damn flies. So what you gotta do is you gotta uh, take a 13 and um, turn it clockwise so that you can get this to line up and put a screw in it so that it can stay uh, where it is and be able to access this bolt. Damn flies. Um, and then we got the new one and hopefully we should be good with the pulleys and so we got ourselves um, a new pulley set for this car. Just got to put on the belts, change the, um, um, the radiator and the hoses and we should be good to go. So those are next. So another thing to note, I got the EcoBoost back yesterday, um, timing belt, uh, water pump, um, pretty much it. And she's no longer displaying the check engine light. She's good to go. Saved me uh, about 1500 bucks uh, had I gone to a dealership. So thanks to Brian, uh, he, got, he got this pretty much squared away. Didn't have the time to do it myself because it's my daily. So anyway, but upon bringing her back, uh, one of the things that they did was uh, rotate the tires, and when they did so, I, I'm pretty sure it's uneven wear of the tires. Uh, she has a shimmy um, past 60 miles per hour on the way back home. So I'm going to rotate her back to see whether or not that kind of eliminates it. If not, it's most likely uh, balancing. It kind of does seem like uh, some of the weights on uh, the, the driver's side uh, was lost because there's something... There's a sticky that's left over that seems like it's somewhat fresh. So that might might be it. But anyway, let me just, just for giggles, I'm just going to go rotate the tires where it was uh, just to see whether or not that's going to fix it. 
but like I said, uh, just a quick note on on the on the EcoBoost. Just wanted to note that on this channel, just so that uh, uh, like again, like I said, I'm using this channel as my logbook of things that I do uh, for the cars. So as you guys can see, some negative camber wear because uh, she is lowered. Um, pretty sure I had her aligned, but I um, guess it wasn't aligned well. But um, looks like I'm gonna be, she's gonna be, I mean, she's completely bare. So I'm probably gonna need a new set of tires. Uh, for just for the rear, the fronts are good. So uh, that's what's most likely causing the, um, the noise and the shimmy past 60 miles per hour. So hoping this will temporarily fix it until I get myself uh, a new set of tires. So, it's the same scenario for the driver's side. The uh, once one, uh, actually the fronts are clean and the rear is camber worn. So yeah, looks like I'm gonna need to get a set of rear tires. So hopefully this will temporarily solve the shimmy issue and uh, Hold me back or hold me until I get a new set of tires. So more expenses. Yay. So getting ready to do the radiator, the hoses, thermostat, and all that jazzy stuff today. In this heat. Gotta do it here on out in the streets because I don't have the energy to push this thing all the way up to the garage and plus I got no room so just to cover real quickly we got the stock air box out uh, just so that we can get um, some room to be able to get the um, hoses down, down below and we're eventually going to remove this uh, AST air separation tank uh, from the red and from the actual mounting plate where the thermostat is at um, and like I said, you guys have already seen us. Uh, we've already talked about having done the, the pulleys. Uh, that one uh, and this guy and that guy, those are all new. Uh, we're gonna remove the uh, the sensor and remove and change out that lower coolant hose. We already got the uh, upper coolant hose that goes from here to here. That's already out, so just a matter of us um, and just gotta just remove this guy right here too as well off from the from the red and just as a matter of just slipping it out and replacing it with new so but before we do that we got to drain out the uh, the car off of coolant so that's gonna be really fun so got the coolant out uh, remove a 13 bolt right off from the block let me see if I can get show you where it's from um, right there so I'm pretty sure we're gonna still have more coolant on the rad on the uh, expansion or air separation tank whatever that is and uh, more fluid on the floor That's from the expansion tank. So to effectively get the uh, lower hose out from that side, we had to uh, use a pry bar, which was a pretty long one too. So um, can't get this tank off of this uh, off of this mounting piece that's attached to the rad air so what we'll do is we're going to try to see if we can move the rad along with it uh, as far as the hose that's all the way at the bottom this guy right here we also had to use a pry bar so just as a just an FYI you might want to see if you can grab yourself a, a pry bar and of course you do it up against uh, areas where it's not going to break so just to get enough leverage we just found the cause of his leak. Um, I don't know if you guys can see it. Maybe see that crack? It's a crack on the end tank. 
So that's where the uh, coolant's been leaking. So I must have, uh, couldn't handle the pressure um, when the belts gave way. So uh, there it goes. So we got the red out just to get a better look at the crack. Can you, I, I don't think I can see it. If you can see it. There it goes. Let's see if I can better. Okay, this is this stuff's better. Can you see it? It's right there. Runs along all the way up to here. So for the thermostat, it's just uh, four bolts. Uh, one is 13 for here, and the other three is 10. So we got the belts on. Um, I don't know if you guys can see, but that's the orientation uh, for the tensioner so that you can get the belts on. Uh, it's 16 millimeter, uh, both on the, uh, the accessory or the AC uh, tensioner and the main tensioner. So um, get the belts on, so it's gotta work on putting, up, uh, putting the rest back in. So that's the new red, the old one. Uh, we were gonna go with uh, aftermarket Mishimoto, um, but um, we decided to go stock just to get her uh, back up and running quickly. Uh, kind of been waiting. We didn't want to take the chance of waiting for months because um, right now uh, for the STI, uh, I, ordered, I placed the order on my intercooler uh, kit uh, in May and it's already almost end of July so um, pretty sure it's probably about the COVID uh, resource issue so we didn't want to take the risk on just letting this thing sit and um, him not being able to drive anywhere so uh, we went OE so just to note the um, the OE red also came with the um, uh, the needed o-rings uh, for replacement and the um, and the bottom the long bottom plug for the automatic so we got the new red in wasn't too bad um, one thing just to note just as an FYI let me get down here real quickly on this guy right here make sure you change the o-rings the middle one doesn't require one uh, but uh, both sides do. So we need a new O-ring. Um, I think it's this guy right here. I'm gonna have to size it up. So we got the uh, fan shroud and the fan in, but the tricky part is tightening the um, the shaft where the the fan is it's actually counterclockwise to tighten the the nut that's that's on the uh, on the shaft so just keep that in mind and uh, that tool came in pretty handy okay, Miles, give it a start just gonna make sure there's no leaks um, we had a false alarm earlier, so we're going to let it um, run until the thermostat opens and see where we're at. this a wrap um, no leaks been driving around for a bit just uh, putting air on some tires and uh, just a little bit of content on the 330 so she's back on the road and hopefully this little guy over here is happy and um, we'll do more content hopefully this time it's it's not fixing stuff it's actually um, modifying uh, making things go Fast, fast. Anyway, all right, guys. So 
Till next time, hopefully you guys enjoyed this content. Just a little something, just a log book on the 330. Um, be kind, stay humble, and see you guys on the next vid.